Hi, I'm Attorney Alan Romley. We're going to be discussing today uh, one of the types of warrants that can be issued for you here in the state of Maryland. This is called an arrest warrant. We've previously discussed a bench warrant, the most common. This is the second most common. An arrest warrant means pretty much exactly what it sounds like, that there is now a warrant after your arrest. How did this happen? Either you've uh, antagonized a friend, a neighbor, a business associate, or often a significant other. The other possible way is that uh, the police have done an investigation and have concluded that you need to be arrested and uh, uh, so they put out a warrant for you. If a, if a significant other or that first uh, scenario occurred, uh, someone got angry at you, they went down to the commissioner and they swore out a complaint. The commissioner found a probable cause and a warrant issued. The other way is that the police do an investigation uh, oftentimes uh, there was a fight, uh, some sort of altercation, you departed the scene, the police get called, uh, the remaining person gives their version of facts, uh, the police take out a warrant for your arrest. In either case, you're now subject to being arrested and at the worst possible times. Uh, the police will come to your workplace, if they know where it is, they'll come to your home in the middle of the night, that's the way they like to do it. Or you can just be out driving your car and get stopped for the most minor, unrelated incident. They run your name, find the warrant, and you get arrested. Your car sits on the side of the road. If you're lucky enough to find out that there's a warrant or suspect that there's a warrant out, you contact me before they contact you. I can confirm whether there's actually a warrant. They don't like to put that information online because A, it's so recent that it probably hasn't made it into the databases yet, or B, they don't want to tip you off that a warrant might be out there for you. I'll confirm that there's a warrant. Once I'm retained, I can contact the prosecutor's office. I'll find out who's got the case, who's responsible, who's in charge of the division, and I'll tell them you're hiring me. I'll tell them our version of facts in a thumbnail fashion. I'll try to convince them to agree with me when I file a petition with the judge to recall the warrant to convert it to a summons. We'll then accept service of the summons. That way your first appearance in court is going to be us walking into the courthouse together rather than uh, you coming in being transported from a detention center. So if you suspect that you've got a warrant, contact my office. We'll work together to get the warrant recalled. We'll compete with the judge. We'll get the judge to hopefully recall the warrant and we can uh, handle the case in a much more agreeable fashion. Thanks.